What's going on guys, Gizmodict here and this is a tutorial on how to install Android 6.0 Marshmallow on your Samsung Galaxy S1. This method works on the international variant of the Galaxy S which is the GT i9000. You need to have a rooted phone along with a custom recovery like TWRP installed. If you don't have it, then I will link a tutorial about it in the video's description. There are a few 6.0 ROMs available for our device, but today we will be installing the Omni ROM. To get started, download the ROM files and the Google Apps package from the official ROM thread that is linked in the video's description. Transfer them to your phone and back up all of your important data before proceeding. Now switch off your device. Hold the volume up, home and the power button together to enter into the recovery mode. Once inside TWRP, click on Wipe, then Advance Wipe and select the data partition. Then click on Repair or Change File System and then select F2FS. This step is going to format your data partition to F2FS format which is needed for this ROM. After that is done, go ahead and wipe the data, system, cache and Dalvik cache partitions. Once that is completed, return back to the main menu and click on install. Select your ROM file, gapps package and the super su zip file which is needed for the root access and then you can install them. All the files are going to install one by one and this install actually takes a lot of time. It took me at least half an hour or even more to complete this installation process. So please be patient and wait for the installation process to complete. Once everything has been installed, wipe the cache and the Dalvik cache once again and reboot your device. Again, since this is the first boot, it's going to take a while, so be patient. If everything goes well, you will be greeted with the Marshmallow home screen and you can continue to set up your device. After setting up your phone, you will see that the lock screen wallpaper is blackened out and the notification bar is also not transparent. To fix that, go to the Google Play Store and download build.prop editor. Inside the build.prop editor, search for RAM and then change the value of ro.config.lowram from true to false. Reboot your device and your phone should now have a lock screen wallpaper along with a transparent status bar. To make your device feel a bit faster, you can go to about phone Click on the build number a few times to enable developer options. Inside developer options, you can reduce the transition and animation scale to 0.5x from 1x. Also, under the performance tab, you can change the maximum clock to 1400 and minimum to 200. You can also change the governor settings here to get more performance out of your phone. In terms of usability and stability, the ROM does work well with the device. I have not encountered any crashes or force closes till now and all the apps, although sometimes a bit slow, do work on the phone. 720p video playback is working on the phone and YouTube functions well too. You can try to play a few games on the device but they are going to lag sometimes and the phone does freeze then. The camera also works and using the phone for normal use like browsing Twitter or some social media apps works without any kind of hiccups. So while this ROM is not the fastest performance wise, it's still in the beta stage and more developments are coming to it. It's great to see the latest version of Android make its way to such an old device while my Galaxy S6 is still waiting for the official Marshmallow update. So this was my tutorial about installing Android Marshmallow on your Samsung Galaxy S. Please like the video if it helped you out and definitely comment your feedback and queries. I will make sure to help you out. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.